Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a question here from a, a subscriber of mine and she says, I feel ugly. How can I go through life feeling this way? Okay, cool, let's try and answer this question. Firstly, I'd like to say to you, I'm sure you aren't ugly to start with. But what you bring up a very interesting, um, interesting idea of beauty, basically. What is beauty? And for me, I think beauty is multiple things. There's many different uh, forms of beauty. And to class oneself as ugly uh, can be quite damaging to one's self-image, of course, to one's um, soul, to one's very nature, because we feel like we're going through life uh, in, a, in, in a frame of mind of inferiority, in that we can only, for example, come up with ideas like ugly, beautiful, etc., 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 through comparison, right? We are comparing ourselves to something. If you were the only human being on this planet, it would be impossible for you to be um, ugly because or at least in the terms that I think that you are, you are bringing this to me with, okay, from what I've understood from what you've said. Because what it seems like is that you brought to me uh, a statement, a question uh, about physical attractiveness, how you look. Now, this specifically is to do with comparison. We are comparing people, okay? Not only is it to do with physical, let, let's say it's also something that you think is part of your um, traits, like your personality traits. Again, this is based on comparison. You are comparing yourself to someone else. Now, I haven't met you, I haven't seen you, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say to you, you are a model, uh, go jump on, uh, on the front page of a magazine and make loads of money just being a model, okay? because I haven't seen you, so I have no idea what you look like. But what I am going to say to you is, whatever you think, um, the happiness, the benefits, etc., 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 that comes from being this beautiful that you are apparently not, it's a facade, it's not real. The, the people who are rich, the people who are, uh, in society's eyes, uh, the most beautiful, pretty, whatever it is, they have the same problems as everyone else, but they just, they just uh, come into existence, into their minds, into their world, in a slightly different way, okay? What I want you to do is this. I want you to take a step back, and I want you to ask yourself, what do you genuinely want from life, okay? What can you give to the world that you have found yourself in? What can you give to that world? Once you start making moves in that direction of giving to your world, of realizing your vision for what you want of the world, you will become extremely beautiful, extremely beautiful in an objective way, okay? Not in a subjective way, in an objective way, because you, your beauty comes from giving warmth and love and energy to the world that you are around. You awaken people's spirits. You make them happy. You make them feel alive, okay? And that is true beauty in my eyes. So if you want to become the most beautiful person that you can be, take a step back for a second, have a look at your life and decide, what am I not doing right now that I should be doing to live the life that I want to be living? And then the next thing is, what can I give to this world to make this world a happier, warmer, more connected place. And by that very act in itself, when you take those actions, those steps in that direction, you are going to become extremely beautiful in the most objective way possible. Cool, take care.